Because of students like Mark and many other uh, Palmer students, it is, what, it is why I continue to be driven to do the best work that I can do every day. Um, I'm trying to compose myself. I didn't expect that um, from him. I thought his grandmother was just gonna say a few words, but that Mark, uh, Mark really turned himself around. He was, uh, he was quite a firecracker. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and he found cooking and he went into the military and he uh, became a cook and then got uh, selected to, to go on and, and do some more advanced uh, things with the combat engineers. He's now in Afghanistan. And so I'm really proud of him. Um, okay, let me get back to this. <laughs> so uh, thank you. Uh, I want to make sure, I, uh, especially say thank you to our Culinary Arts Cafe number one customer, Jackie Levy. She's, she's, uh, she's here. And also to, uh, to uh, our superintendent, Dave Gordon. They're both uh, outstanding supporters of our Culinary Arts Cafe and what we, what we do over there. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, my principal, Lauren Roth, and uh, for her strong leadership uh, that makes it possible for, for the Culinary Arts Academy to happen. Uh, sometimes when the students make something uh, really delicious, I say, you know, um, you know, if this teaching thing doesn't quite work out, I'm going to become a chef <laughs> uh, because I'm a really good cook. And, uh, so, uh, but I think uh, being SCOE's Teacher of the Year, uh, I think I'm uh, now uh, going to give the teaching a, a strong go. <laughs> I've been doing it for 17 years, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, chefs are natural teachers. The techniques and uh, ideas of great cuisine have been passed along. Uh, the, uh, I'm losing my mind up here. Uh, as a great chef, Ferdinand Poix once said, the divine creation went to the effort of giving us de delicious and exquisite things to eat. At least we can do is prepare them well and serve them with ceremony. As educators, we are entrusted with the Im impressionable young minds, and it is our responsibility to feed their minds with knowledge. After, as with all great ideas, it's all in the delivery. Working with students that have severe emotional problems can be very challenging, as the students have had very limited success in traditional education. But our teachers and staff help these young people believe that they can do things that they only once dreamed of. As someone that has struggled with the challenges of severe ADHD, I understand the long, hard road of misery and defeat that it can cause. But I discovered a career as a chef, and that was right for me. People are always asking for our recipes at the Colony Arts Cafe, but here is one that I'm proud to give to you, a recipe for a successful teacher. Take two cups of, chair, of caring, one cup of knowledge, one cup of good communication, three cups of encouragement, two tablespoons of flexibility, four tablespoons of positive attitude, eight tablespoons of respect, and a, lastly, a dash of humor. <laughs> I know that many of you have, even, have an even better recipe. So every day, you should combine these ingredients and serve it to your students. And I'm proud to cook up that feast with all of you. Thank you.